Okay, so there's been a lot of discussion about the security of uh, Zoom uh, video uh, conferencing. And one of the uh, questions was about whether the video was actually encrypted or not. What we'll see here is that the video itself is tunneled through a TLS type connection. When we talk about the possibility of the video being encrypted with AES uh, uh, ECB, we're really talking about the original video before it goes into the, the tunnel. So the risk here is not that someone would listen on the line uh, to the, uh, the communications because that's in tunnel. The risk is possibly if there was a little proxy on the machine, then ECB may be weak from that point of view. So let's look at the, the stream that, that we have. So this is, a, this is an example uh, stream here. So what we see is a standard SYN uh, that's sent from the client to the server. The server sends a SYN, uh, uh, an, a SYN ACK back and then we get a, a, an ACK being sent from uh, the client. After this, we now negotiate uh, a TLS session. So the standard sign uh, that we see is that the client will send a client hello to the server. The server then responds back with a server hello and uh, a, the TLS session is made. The client hello defines the encryption that the client wants to use and the server hello will pick one of the cipher suites uh, to be able to create the TLS session. So here it's here, syn, synac, and there is the client uh, hello. So if we have a quick look at that, we should see the ciphers that are actually supported in here. So there are 21 different ciphers. Uh, here we have uh, RSA, elliptic curve uh, Diffie-Hellman with RSA uh, for the authentication part. Uh, we have in here a lot of elliptic curve uh, methods. Uh, there is an RSA with AES, which is slightly insecure. It's not quite as, as good as elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman. And the problem with RSA uh, with AES is that what happens is that the client will create a key and then we'll use the public key of, say, Zoom uh, to be able to encrypt that and send it back. The problem with that type of system is that if someone gets hold of the private key of, of Zoom, then it would be possible to be able to crack all the keys that have been passed in the past. So these ones here are, are pretty secure. These ones here uh, aren't uh, so, but not a, a, a major problem. And it would certainly be very expensive for someone to be able to crack those types of tunnels. But increasingly, companies are moving away from, from using RSA as a method of passing uh, the session key and more moving towards elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman, which is much more secure. Okay, so that's the, that's the client hello that gets uh, sent, sent out. Uh, you see uh, that we're typically using uh, 1 to 8 AES GCM. So GCM is a stream uh, cipher, which is very uh, fast, much faster than, uh, than uh, our block uh, ciphers. But we also have the opportunity to go for CBC uh, and so on. So I don't think there's any weak ones in here. So you can see that whole thing about the ECB was all about the encryption of the video and not about the tunnel that's actually uh, created uh, here. OK, so that's, uh, that shows uh, that. If we have a look at the stream now, so we'll just follow that stream and we'll have a look to see. So uh, Zoom are using the uh, uh, GoDaddy uh, Certificate Authority here, which hopefully should be trusted on a machine. Once we create uh, the, the connection, then you can see it's, it is encrypted. But we can certainly see the first uh, signs of our certificate being passed uh, in here. Uh, and we can see that it's a Zoom uh, certificate that's being uh, passed from that. Okay, so that's that's our, uh, that's an example here. 
So once it's connected, you'll see lots of traffic going uh, back and forward in there. And then eventually, once the video is f the video conference is finished, you'll see a reset at, at the very end. Okay, so it's only at that original uh, starting point can we actually see the uh, the uh, the the handshaking that, that goes on. So we'll just have a look back and uh, at our stream here. So the one thing to notice about a Zoom stream is that uh, we see this TLS here, but then once we're in uh, the the uh, uh, the video, we see uh, a UDP uh, stream uh, happening. So one thing to notice about Zoom is that while it's using port 443 in SSL for its main connection, it will typically use uh, a UDP uh, traffic uh, to uh, send uh, uh, synchronization information. So the ports used are 8801 to 8810. So here's an example here. Uh, because it's uh, connection less, I will only see uh, a, a message uh, being sent. So the worry here is that uh, this isn't uh, sent through the, the tunnel. So we can actually see uh, the information being sent uh, in here. Uh, we'll have a look at another one. Uh, that's a smaller one in there. We just follow that one and so we can see here there is information being uh, sent and this is obviously updating uh, the video uh, in in some way I will just uh, grab another one a bit later on and see what we have so there's some smaller ones there I'll look at this one Okay, so uh, we can see uh, some of the information and this is obviously what is uh, coming uh, from the, uh, this, this, this comes from the uh, client machine to uh, the server here. So I can see here that's the information actually sent back uh, based on a request from the server. So if we look here, we see the red text is the server asking for something and the blue text is the client responding back. And we see here uh, the server sending this part here as part of the UDP uh, session. And you can see this, this back and forward uh, between the, the, the UDP session. Okay, so at the end, uh, we'll get our uh, a dis uh, a disconnect. Okay, so at the end, we'll see our reset uh, happening on the HTTP, uh, the SSL TLS uh, session here. So this is the disconnection for, of the Zoom client to the to the Zoom server.